One year ago, Mohammed Shur decided to invest his family's total savings, $45,000. His mother, Ahlam, has been running the family grocery store to support her four children since the death of her husband eight years ago. Lebanese investor Salah Azzadeen had promised them a return of 25%, and Mohammed was planning to cash in his investment next month and buy a fruit orchard. Everyone was investing. Everyone. The man was supposedly religious, and he did a lot of charity work. Like everyone else in the village, just walk through the streets, and most people will tell you that it invested with him. We're lucky. Some people mortgage their homes, so we will manage. Muhammad, who is a business management university student, now admits that the interest returns were inconceivable. I would always tell my family that we are going to wake up one day and face a disaster. And that day has arrived. Muhammad is one of thousands of villagers from South Lebanon who invested with Azzedin. Muhammad's village Tura is home to some 5,000. Here alone people had invested at least 11 million dollars. Azzedin had promised lucrative returns of 25 to 55 percent. Azzedin's loss is an estimated 1.1 billion dollars. He's already being compared to the disgraced U.S. financer Bernie Madoff. He's renowned for charity work and ran a tour company organizing pilgrimages to Mecca. Azzedin is also perceived to be close to Hezbollah. For many Southerners, a Hezbollah stronghold, this was a guarantee that their life savings were safe. Investigations are underway how Azzedin lost so much money. Azzedin will face a maximum one-year jail sentence if the bankruptcy filed is based on irregularities and not fraud, according to business law experts. Muhammad and his mother will be among thousands of families waiting for the verdict and to find out if they will ever see their money again. Amal Hamdan, Al Jazeera, South Lebanon.